Good morning, Eagles. I'm Malcolm. I'm Sam. Our mission is to be prompt, polite, and prepared. Our vision is that each student graduates with the skills necessary to be successful in a college or in a career. On today's show, we're going to go over the ethnical backgrounds of some of our fellow peers here at George Jenkins. We'll get an inside look at a daily life in Cuba. And for my favorite part, we'll learn how to make American homemade chocolate chip cookies. And you do not want to miss out. Stay tuned because ENN starts right now. One of the things that I love being here at George Jenkins is the diversity amongst the different ethnicities. You know, I totally agree. I feel like it helps create long-lasting friendships. The multitude of colleges made the transition from England to here a lot more easier, and it's so much more fun to learn about different cultural backgrounds. On that note, let's take some time to learn more about you guys around here at George Jenkins. Not all students at DJ are the same. Throughout the years, our school has become more and more diverse. No matter how different we are, we should appreciate the diversity in our school. My favorite Filipino dish would have to be lumpia, which is spring rolls with pork and vegetables inside. My mother is African American and my father is Jamaican. Hi, I'm Alejandro Fernandez Mora and I am from Spain. I'm Jamonte Richardson and I am half Jamaican. Hi, I'm Kaylee Malik and I'm Filipino American. My favorite food from Spain is tortilla de patata and gazpacho. Gazpacho is only tomato and bread. A tradition my family has is getting together and watching the Miss Universe pageant. My favorite food that my Jamaican grandfather makes is Jamaican soup, which includes uh, Jamaican seasoned veggies, plantains, and dumplings. I'm Alejandro Fernandez Mora. I'm Jimote Richardson. I'm Kaylee Mallon. And I make up George Lucas' population. All right, now that we learned a little bit about you guys, let's take some time to learn about Sam. Okay, go for it. So as many of us know, you came over here from England. What was your favorite food to eat over there? Nando's. They have the best chicken ever. Well, here in America, and I'm pretty sure some of you can agree, we love to bake. Oh, yeah. We baked in England, too. Hot cross buns, crumpets, cake, and a lot more. One of my favorite things to bake is chocolate chip cookies. You know, I never really learned how to make chocolate chip cookies. Well, you're in luck because Haley and Olivia are going to take us step-by-step on how to make some homemade chocolate chip cookies. Hey guys, it's Haley and Olivia, and today we are going to be making a classic American dessert, chocolate chip cookies. First you'll need a mixer and a bowl. Then combine two sticks of butter, three-fourths cups of brown sugar, three-fourths cups of granulated sugar, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Mix all the ingredients together until you see a smooth consistency. While mixing, pour two and a fourth cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, and one teaspoon of salt into a separate bowl. Make sure to scrape the insides of the bowl. Next, crack two large eggs and put it in the bowl to mix with the other ingredients. Gradually add the flour mix. Add your desired amount of chocolate chips and mix. Scoop small amounts of the dough onto a pan and space them out evenly. Preheat to 375 and place the cookies in the oven. Bake them for 9 to 11 minutes or until golden brown. Next, take them out. And that's how you make chocolate chip cookies. Those look so good. I better get home and start practicing them now if I want them to come out just like that. I need to get better at making mooncakes. Mooncakes, aren't they Korean? Yeah, you know, it was pretty cool when I found out that my family is Korean as well. It gave me a chance to learn more about my family's culture. Are you going to visit soon? I'm hoping so. My family agrees that the living conditions over there are just a little different in America. That reminds me, Erica, she went to Cuba not too long ago for her first time. Oh, did she really? I wonder if she enjoyed it over there. Let's go see from her first hand. This year, me and my family decided to take a trip to Cuba to surprise my widow. Oh, 
While Cuba may not be as modernized as the United States, Cubans rely on buses, cars, and motorcycles for transportation. Cuba is filled with historic landmarks which reflect their unique culture. Here in Havana, citizens go out to eat in places called paladares, which serve all types of authentic Cuban food. Surprising my abuelo after four years without seeing him filled his heart with joy. Rural areas in Cuba, like Riquelme and Quemado de Guinness, where my abuelo lives, transportation has a different look and feel. My time here made me realize that I should appreciate culture and what it has to offer. Wow, Cuba is a beautiful place. You know, seeing her have a great time, it made me feel a lot more comfortable about going to visit Korea. With this holiday break coming up, hopefully you get the chance to go visit. And don't forget, Eagles, our break will run through December 23rd to January 6th. And not only is the break the only thing happening, but we have a lot of things going on around campus. So let's go check out a few announcements. Chick-fil-A week is back. Remember to mention GJ when you do your mobile or face-to-face -face order so that GJ can get a percentage of the sale. Pass this along to friends and family and help out the school. Class shirts are now available for $10. Please see the following teachers to purchase your class shirt. For freshmen, it's Ms. Moore's room 19222 before or after school. Sophomores, it's room 1221. Juniors, stop by Coach Mays' room 1215. And all seniors can stop by room 1216 before and after school to purchase their privilege card and t-shirt. Please see Mr. Townley with any questions. Even with break quickly approaching, it still seems to be a very busy week around campus. Well, that completes today's show, Eagles. Be sure to stay safe. And enjoy your holidays and have a happy new year.